Hey YouTube, it's Eric here. Hope everything's going good today. Yeah, I've just been doing a bit of cleaning in my place, uh, getting my table slash workbench ready for that uh, for that code three bar. Uh, it's gonna need some wiring done to it, and uh, I think I'm going to uh, do something fancy with it later on down the road. Um, I'm not gonna tear apart tear it apart today. Um, it's already uh, almost 4.30 in the afternoon, so i got to be making supper for my son and I soon. So, let me click you off, and uh, maybe I'll leave you on the tripod. Let's see how works. this works out. <laughs> Still getting used to this new tripod. And there it is. There's the Code 3 bar sitting on my table. Getting ready to... Uh, do something with it. I gotta take the lenses off and uh, find out where the wire, the uh, the ground wire keeps uh, short note somewhere on the bar itself. I'm thinking on the aluminum rail, so I'm gonna have to uh, find out where it's grounding out, and then more than likely I'm going to have to uh, uh, put some. I this is the way the bar was when I got it so it has no rubber grommets in um, where they put the wire through so I'm guessing that's probably where it is. I'm just going to pop you off the uh, tripod here preferably without shutting you guys off. There we go. That's better. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how much of the, me doing it I'm going to film but um, so I'll give you a better look at it here. Code 3 bar. Uh, this Code 3 bar does not have a center section. It's just uh, the two sides, both in amber. And if you remember, they were in on. It was on my blazer, and there's some some of the wiring going through. I'm guessing that's the power for both sides. <clears throat> but as you see, it's got so it's got an empty center spot. I'm just gonna put that back in place. As you see, it's got an empty center spot. spot. So what I was thinking, I have to bear with me here, I'm trying to do this one-handed. I don't mind my coffee. I was thinking, I'm getting some of these. I would say four. Four of these. This is just the LED. Um, the little LED um, spotlights for off-road. I was thinking rid of the plastic. I'm thinking of mounting them, uh, whichever way they mount, because of the way the wire is. Mounting them, one here, one on the other side, and then two facing the other way. I'm just going to put this back in the box. And then two facing the other way on here. So you would actually have some work lights. Kind of like takedowns, but a lot brighter. Maybe, maybe a lot brighter. So that's just a thought. I'm just putting you back on my tripod here. Um, that was just that's just a thought. I was thinking, uh, you know, that way you got some some forward and uh, some forward and back lights as well. Kind of work lights idea. Yeah, let me know what you think about. Uh, about adding the LEDs, those uh, little LED bars, those are the uh, four inch floods, but um, I don't know if I'm going to put floods or spots on it. Um, I don't know. Maybe floods for the front and spots for the back or vice versa. I'm not quite sure. Tell me what you guys, tell me what you guys think I should do there. Um, this is a two-tier bar. This is code three, so it has. I'll spin you around here a little bit again. Okay, so the top has the amber lenses, and then the lowers here are clear, somewhat clear. So I could actually add lights to the lowers as well if I want. Um, I could do that, but not obviously the LEDs. Um, I do have 
I do have lights that for this bar that can go in there. Um, I'd have to run a lot more wiring and, and whatnot, but that's okay. I mean, because it's all, the whole bar is, is all common right now, is common ground, common power. So, for that, I would, um, for the extra lights, I would just have to run an extra wire, power wire down to follow the power wire to where the switch goes and just add another switch for specifically those lights in the lower bar. Um, that's just a thought I had. Um, I do have the, uh, the gutter rail mounts for it. Uh, the only thing it does have is the rubber feet, you know, for when uh, when you set it on your roof so it so it um, doesn't scratch it. But um, that's not hard to get. I mean, you should be able. To, I should be able to get them easy. Uh, but other than that, these these little um, the little four inch ones that I got here are actually going on my blazer. Along with, I got a 12-inch uh, flood spot, flood end spot that's going on the front of my blazer as well. Um, so I shouldn't have any problem seeing where I'm going anymore. <laughs> but as um, soon as I uh, get around to start tearing apart this this bar, I'll uh, I'll throw you guys up on the tripod and away we'll go. Um, I've never done one before, so this is going to be a new adventure for me. Um, I mean, it's very easy to get the lenses off. It's just four clips on each lens. You take the lenses off, and then it's uh, looks like it's going to be some bolts in there, nuts and bolts in there to take the uh, lift the rotators up so I can get in there to where the wiring is. Um, I hope I hope there's nothing else to it. I um, hope the the uh, motors aren't uh, bolted because I don't really know how to take that off. I guess it's probably retaining clips. Um, if anybody knows, please comment. Let me know how to uh, how to undo the undo the rotators, uh, like the the lenses and that, so I can get it off and then just slide it all up and rewire it. If not, I'll figure it out. That's the main thing. Um, other than that, I just wanted to uh, I just wanted to do this and. Uh, let you know that I've got the bar up there and uh, it's getting pretty pretty close Let me start working on it um, let me know what you think about uh, about adding the the uh, those Cree off-road lights to, to the center of that bar you know to give you some some kind of a work light type idea uh, I really like to hear what you have to say about that I think I think it's a good idea I think it'll look pretty good and uh, you know It'll look good and it'll be functional instead of having just that um, that empty space in the center right I mean it's either that it's either that or you could use it for uh, for a, uh, an antenna you know a place to mount mount an antenna which wouldn't be a bad idea as, as well you could use it for that as well um, yeah add, add your antenna there I think that would be actually pretty cool you could Put it there, and uh, you use that space up. And actually, you could probably still—I could probably still put those lights there, and still have a space in the center there for your antenna. Just use a magnet mount, and away you go. But uh, anyway, that was just my thought. Um, I just wanted to give you a little update of that, let you know how uh, what <coughs> is going on with this Code Three bar. Um, I'll get more into it when I start tearing it apart. And uh, till then, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. If you like my videos, please comment, um, rate them, and please subscribe. Tell your friends. Have them ha if you know if they're interested in this kind of stuff, like the LED lighting and and whatnot. Um, have them subscribe. Have them, well, have them check it out first. You know if they like it. I hope they subscribe. If not, you know that's that's the way it is. I mean. My channel's not for everybody, um, but that's what YouTube's all about, right? You know, there's something on there for everybody, and it's just a matter of uh, if somebody finds my channel and likes it. So, and I hope they do. Anyway, 
take care of yourself, everybody. I'll uh, be on, I don't know when. I'll, I, I don't know if my exact next video will be doing this bar or not, but uh, I will be making some more videos. Anyway, until then, take care, guys, and I'll see you all soon. Ciao.